the previous module, we said Gray says that meaning is non-natural and uh, there is no direct link between words and meaning. This link is created by shared knowledge between the members of a speech community and that shared knowledge is conventions of communication which are available to all members of community and it facilitates communication, it makes communication in a speech community possible. Okay. In this module, we will move one step ahead. We will now apply Grice theory of meaning, conventional meaning or non-natural meaning because this is based on convention. So we call it conventional meaning. Now we apply it to our subject now. Researchers think that language use is gendered because number one, men and women have different speech styles. This is what you have studied in earlier modules when we talked about uh, tannin, etc. And uh, uh, they said that they are uh, socialized in separate circles and uh, girls learn girls speech style men uh, and uh, uh, males they learn their speech style. Second point is men and women have difference in access to different situations. In some situations men can go and in some women can. Access is differential. We have already studied it. There is also a difference in whose opinion will be more important. If they get access, then whose words will, would be taken as important and whose words would be taken as less important and whose words would become talk of the town, talk of everyday discourse. This too has been discussed in previous modules. What we want to do is, we want to create a link between our previous learning and this topic. That according to these theories, men and women have differences in their speech styles, in access to speech situations, and in importance of their talk. It means men dominate communication if we conclude on the basis of these theories. So they dominate the communication resources because they have access to them. They have access to media. They have access in offices, in other decision making uh, situations. They dominate, they talk. And uh, women, most of the time, they just listen. And uh, if they dominate communication resources, they are thought also dominates. As a result, women easily recognize that men want to convey. What men want to convey, they can easily recognize it. Whereas men can't recognize what women want to convey naturally because women's ideas and their thoughts are never made public. They have access, but they can't express their thoughts. But uh, see, this is a theoretical situation. What practically happens, that would be discussed later on. So, so far, theoretically, this is the situation. If a woman says to a man, well, see, you think like a man. The man will not take it insult as the woman did in the last example we gave in some module. That if a man says to a woman, you think like a woman, that would be an insult. But this time, if a woman reverts the same utterance towards man, 
यू थिंक लाइक ए मेन सो शी एक्चुअली डज नॉट इंसल्ट मेन विल टेक इट ए जॉक एंड वोमन शी इन फैक्ट इनवर्डली ओपनली रेकग्नाइज सुपीरियरिटी ऑफ द मेल बिकॉज शी सेज यू थिंक लाइक ए मैन यू आर इंटलेक्चुअली सुपीरियर टू मी एंड डेट्स वाई मैन विल बी हैप्पी विल टेक इट एज ए जॉक She recognizes the thought easily. What this man is thinking about me? Researchers think they can understand with Grey's theory of meaning why English language serves more to men users than the woman user. If this is the case, that men dominate communication. and women easily recognize this what men want to convey so it means the words of language which men use here we suppose that language is english the words are given meaning by men by speakers according to grey's theory so words of english would be given meaning by speakers men okay it is so because men users give meaning to english words so english language serves a particular gender here language becomes gendered according to theory of grice grice says speakers give meaning speakers are men they dominate communication So they would assign meaning to words. Clear. How can they give meaning? Next question. They take benefit of the quality of the language itself. Naturally, by nature, you can say, language does not fix meaning. So men get a space to assign meaning to words. and uh, if you recall if you are student of linguistics you know the father of linguistics saussure the swiss linguist what he said about relationship between meaning and words he said meaning and words are are bit readily linked with each other are bit readily means non naturally again the same thing which is said by grice community and then within community in the male they assign meaning to word after that these cultural meanings because they are assigned by convention convention that comes from speech community this cultural meaning then spreads it is produced and reproduced it becomes stable in use so up to this point we understand that grice theory does not guide us only to understand whose meaning dominates it also tells us why why because language does not fix meaning of its word men's meaning dominates because they rely on meaning agreed upon by the community if so a solution to challenge this difference in meaning generation is also offered by grice and what is that solution if men can assign meaning on the basis of agreement so definitely in response to that women can also do the same this is how not only history tells us how meaning is assigned to words of a language like english by men it he also tells us what is the solution to counter this gendered language